everybody this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead um, <clears throat> today I'm going to plant my vines my squashes my pumpkins my watermelon now I the reason I'm leaving this one so late and I started everything else so early is because squash and pumpkin any kind of uh, fruity vine like that really doesn't like to be uh, moved once it is has started to grow so we're leaving these late because we're going to be planting them as soon as they come into second leaf. So what I've got here set up is an egg tray and I have my six kinds of um, seeds that I'm going to plant. And last night I uh, put like three dozen eggs um, in the dehydrator because, well, we have a glut of eggs right now. And I'll, so what I'm going to do is, that while the rest of the shells are toasting, I'm just going to fill these up with a little bit of dirt. Because as soon as these come into second leaf, I'll be able to just pop these right into their hills. Maybe poke a little hole in the bottom of the shell. I've done this before. This gives them a shot of calcium as well. Um, like it gives them some nice minerals, but it also gives them something that's really gives you something that's really easy just to pop right in the ground. And this is a great way to start your tomatoes as well. Then this soil that I'm using in these shells is the soil block mix. So I'm using the same stuff. I'm just not doing it in blocks. There we go. All right, we'll be back when I have these filled. Okay, here we have our half shells. Uh, full of my soil mix and each one of these little flags says uh, these two rows are going to be buttercup squash this is going to be moon and the stars uh, watermelon from Michigan snow pony thank you these are going to be pump just straight pumpkins these are black beauty uh, zucchini and these are golden hovered winter squash now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to and I'm going to save the seed packets because um, I will probably be uh, vacuum sealing any seeds that I harvest this year and what I'll do is I will save the original package so that I know which seed that I'm saving so here's our golden winter Hubbard squash or winter golden Hubbard squash and we're just gonna put this point down in the soil doesn't look like a lot does it but by George if these all take I am going to be one busy gardener okay there's our Hubbard squash and these are golden Hubbard these are not these will go orange these won't go green all right we'll just give them a little bit of extra soil on top and when I'm done I got my little squirt bottle of water here next so we're going to put you aside so we don't plant you twice by accident here is our Black Beauty, and this comes from the Sustainable Seed Company, and you can buy these seeds online. This is our Black Beauty Zucchini. Now, I don't usually plant zucchini, but I tell you, I make a heck of a chocolate zucchini bread. That, uh, And now that I, you know, dehydrate a lot, I'm going to um, spend some time dehydrating uh, zucchini because shredded zucchini so that I'll have you know because it doesn't taste as good after it's been shredded and then frozen there's our black beauty zucchini see we still have plenty of seeds left over so I'm hoping if everything goes well I'll have lots of seeds to share um, next spring and these are our pumpkins And this is the pumpkin roll. There we go. I'm so excited. I just, I, I'm, we are spreading out a little more every year when it comes to gardening. And uh, <clears throat> we are going to, we weren't going to get any more soil, but I want to expand the garden just a little bit more. And where we're expanding it from doesn't have um it's mostly a lot of gravel and stuff but we've emptied out the barn on into that area because it's a hill it's behind the house and part of it gets shade halfway through the day and that's fine we'll just plant some shade loving plants in there 
but I'm going to have uh, whole, and plus I have my squash hill that's going to be up near the front of course my watermelon is not going to go in the squash patch and neither is the zucchini because they're two different kinds of like the Hubbard squash I don't know what you call them I'm sure Noreen would but the Hubbard squash the pumpkin and the uh, buttercup squash are fine um, all together but things like watermelon and zucchini they're kind of a watermelon although they vine out like a squash they don't um, they aren't the same I don't know what the group is folks somebody correct me if I'm wrong let's just say it's instinct watermelon and squash I don't think should go in the same patch so they're going to be at different ends of the, of the uh, property here and here is our moon and stars watermelon from Michigan Snow Pony and I really hope I can grow these in this climate and here I've got two different kinds of buttercup squash one's just called courage and the other one is just called uh, buttercup squash so I'm gonna do just in case there's a difference I'm gonna plant them both so here is our rows of buttercup squash so I'm going by instinct when I say I'm not planting the zucchini because the zucchini is a summer squash and I really I just want to make sure I do it right so tell somebody tell me if my instincts are right not to plant the watermelon and the zucchini with near the Hubbard squash and the pumpkin and here's our other kind of buttercup squash and I'll tell you folks I love buttercup squash I love it baked with some brown sugar and some <clears throat> excuse me brown sugar and some butter and a little bit of salt and pepper and I just love that stuff but I also it also is much better in pies well I use pumpkin in my pot pumpkin pies but I also like to add some buttercup squash because buttercup squash is a meatier sweeter heavier flesh without a lot of water so they do really well okay so here we go we have two rows of buttercup squash and we have one row of moon and stars watermelon and we have one row of pumpkin and one row of black beauty zucchini and one row of golden covered winter squash I'll just give everybody a little bit of drink get them all started and as soon as these come into second leaf they'll be going into the new squash patch this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying don't forget tonight is Thursday night and that is the night of the homestead honey hour on prepperbroadcasting.com it's at 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tonight, Bear Prepper is at the helm, and she has a special guest, Misty Shooter. So remember, go into PrepperBroadcasting.com, join the chat, and then reopen PrepperBroadcasting.com in a separate window. And at 8 o'clock Central Time, turn on Media Player 2 and join us for the show. Take care. Bye-bye. Squash. -bye.